to Casa de la Sales. <laughs> We are doing an empty house tour. It has been one whole year since we have been blessed to own our very own home. I purchased this home at the age of 24 and it has been a learning and an incredible, incredible experience. This was Miss Riley's very first home that she came home to. And we started our family and plan to continue Grow our family right in this lovely home and we want to invite you and share with you exactly how our home looks come on let's go you ready to show them that's it ah oh, he's not there say hi to the sales family so when you walk into our newly built home, right to the left of you is a nice size coat closet. And next to it is the stairs. Before we go up the stairs, to the right of the stairs, we have a passageway that leads into our first floor and where we spend most of our time. The, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> The builder had extra space underneath the stairs, so he just decided to make a storage closet, which is wonderful because we definitely use the storage closet. So after the storage closet, if you keep walking in, we have what you call an open floor plan. And the builder separated the kitchen from the living room where the kitchen has hardwood floors and the living room has carpet. Our living room is where we spend most of our time as a family and where we sit and we watch movies. Um, we come together mainly in the living room. And I like how big and spacious the builder um, both the living room and the nice size that the living room is. Then when you turn around and you walk into the kitchen, we have all new appliances. But before we go into the kitchen, we have a nice half bath um, which is great downstairs because when we have company they don't have to walk upstairs or anything like that um, and they can just use the half bath right there and we have a very nice next to the half bath we have a nice nice size pantry it's really big and it's perfect it goes in um, what are you doing? What noise are you making, huh? Um, it goes in both ways. And then right off of the pantry, we have the door to our two-car garage. Um, the yellow bumper that you see inside the garage is so no one hits the, the water softener. Um, yeah.
walk into the kitchen where we have all new appliances. Um, first time ever having a dishwasher, which I love. We have a nice size island. I always wanted an island. I love our island. Great cabinet space, a nice size fridge. And it's where we, as a family, we cook because we love cooking with a family and where we do cooking with sales. Um, and I love it. I love our kitchen so, so much. Our kitchen is so beautiful. Um, and I am actually really excited that I have an island. So, and then after that, you walk right back down the hallway and up the stairs to our second level. So now we walk up the stairs um, and we are greeted with this big open space and it's actually called a loft. I did not know that, but it's a really, really nice space. Um, everyone who comes and they see the space, they're always like, this is like another room. They always think it's another room, but it's not. It's a nice open space, um, which I really, really love and appreciate. I'm pretty sure that she's going to spend a lot of time here and just running around. The dog spends a lot of time here um, playing with my husband because my husband's a big baby, you know? <laughs> He's a big kid, definitely. Um, but I like how it just separates all the rooms and the space that we have to get to each room. So I really appreciate that the builder put this incorporated this into the home as well. You come upstairs to the right of you. We have two bedrooms and our first full bath. The first bedroom is, we made it into the guest bedroom and that is because the closet is a little bit smaller than the second one. Well, I personally think it's a lot bit smaller, but it's a little bit smaller than the, the second bedroom, which we made into the baby's bedroom. And it's solely because the bedroom, the closet, it's bigger. Both bedrooms face the front of our home and when I was looking into these homes and looking into a, a home, the reason why I picked this home um, was not only because it was newly built and we were going to be the first family, a lot of it had to do with two things that I made sure I had inside my home, which was bigger closet space because in this area, the closet space is not that big. All the closets are really small and the master bedroom is the only one that has a nice size closet and you had something to say you said that is not gonna happen right you need a big closet too yeah and um, the backyard usually in the homes are tiny and I had to make sure that my backyard was big because I needed her to run run around right let them know so right next to the baby's bathroom, we have, I'm right next to the baby's bedroom, excuse me, we have our first full bathroom um, and it's her bathroom. We get guests, but not that much, mainly as family, so it's fine that they use her bathroom. And it's a, it's a nice, decent size, right? Especially for you. Say, I'm the only one that uses it. No fingers. So yeah, we have the bathroom. Um, a few things needed to be fixed in the bathroom before we moved in. Fun fact, all of this was done two days before closing. So that was great, um, but it worked out.
kids are not going to get up, wipe their butt, and sit back down. They're just gonna put their pants up and go. So I have them move it right here, where it's a lot more accessible. I want them to originally put it right here, but they weren't able to because they said if they did put it here, then it would void the warranty that this has and they're not able to void any kind of warranty like if i want to do it i can this is not even even definitely not even and there's a hole right there i should have to fix that the full bath we have our laundry room which I don't know about y'all, but having a laundry room inside your home is like a dream come true. Like it's a whole room just for my laundry. I love it. Um, and it's a very nice size. Again, all new appliances. So I have a new washer, a new dryer. Absolutely love it. Right next to the washer and dryer is our master bedroom. And inside our master bedroom, we have a ma our master bath. Our master bath has a his and her sink and a lot of space underneath. And which I absolutely love. It can definitely be a second closet, a second closet for my husband now. But we have a really big, nice, nice size linen closet. And right next to the linen closet is our huge tub. And next to the huge tub, right behind a wall hidden, is our toilet. And right in front, or next to where I guess you can say, is our walk-in closet. And our walk-in closet is humongous. Like, we separated it and we still have a lot of space. And let me tell you, I have a lot of clothes. So for it to be off, able to fit on one side is actually a miracle i don't know how i was able to fit it out, um in other closets because these closets are tiny in this area um so it was really nice to have a big walk-in closet to be able to fit both of our stuff and still have space our linen closet still has space like we can definitely make that into a second closet but we won't because I have a lot of stuff to put in the linen closet. Our master bedroom is a decent size. It's really big. It fits our king size bed and our two side um, tables. It's great. I'm hard. I'm just doing a lot today. This is the laundry room probably my favorite one of my favorite rooms new appliances I'm going to have someone my brother my dad someone put up shelves here so I can realize the laundry room and this is the master bedroom bedroom looks out to the backyard just a pretty big backyard they did not cut my grass Spot my walk-in closet here and over. That's that. Turn off the lights. So when we purchase.
purchased this home, the builder said that he gave us, with the home, a smart system. Amazing, the greatest thing ever. So the smart system, I am able to open and close and set our alarm, turn on and off our system, our heating and AC system from anywhere in the world, which is amazing because when we leave and we go to another country or we go back home to visit family, I have our system shut off, our AC system, so it's not running because no one's home. And right before we come home, I turn it on so when we enter into our home, it is not hot. And this house gets hot, really hot, when, um, especially in the summer. So it's nice to just walk into a home that's nicely cooled and we're not waiting for it to get cooled. But while we are away, we're not spending money and racking up the bills here. So it's always nice. So we have a great thermostat that is touchscreen. Um, so yeah, the builder was really nice to give us a smart home system built into the home before we move in. This is Just that. Not much to do with that. This house is a smart house, so I can control this if I connect it um, to my uh, phone. And that's it. This window looks out here. So let's go back downstairs and let me show you the backyard. I fought with a lot of people about the backyard and reasons why I didn't buy other homes was simply because the backyard was way too small and I knew I wanted to build and start my family in this home so there was no way I was gonna have a backyard like literally the backyard was smaller than my living room i'm trying to find a place that i can compare it to but it was really small so this backyard is a great size um the reason why i actually bought this particular home because homes it was like two homes down from here the backyard is actually like five feet smaller so i bought this home because of it and the backyard is great it's beautiful it's nice it's spacious and it's definitely somewhere where I can just open and let the dog run freely as well as the baby um, whenever she's able to walk. And we can just sit back there, relax, and watch her and the dog interact. And my nieces and nephews, when they come over, and we could just have a great barbecue, not too cluttered, but where the kids can run freely and it would be great. What I hate though is that they had to put two trees in the middle. So we will be getting those out and putting a nice swing set and we have a house. But we're, we have a lot of space in the backyard, so that's great. came with the blinds, came with everything that I just showed you, which is great. A lot of houses don't. And so my yard starts here, and it ends all the way over there. As you can see, most people have shorter. I'm gonna pick this property because it's bigger, and I need to come across where each of them gets me. this tour I hope you love our home but I need to put this little one to sleep so you don't gotta go home but you gotta get out of here okay <laughs>